Good evening, I'm Bo Williams, and welcome to The 7. Let's get a look at the Big 7 stories right now. Topping the list for us tonight, our Big 7 and 7, well, we're talking tax filings. The IRS expects more than 128.7 million tax returns to be filed, with some changes that will be happening during this tax season. With the Inflation Reduction Act signed into law back in August of 2022, the agency received millions of dollars to improve its technology and services. This year, the IRS is rolling out a pilot program of a tax filing software. If you electronically file, uh, generally most people should get their refunds within 21 days. But uh, something to note is that if you actually put your bank account information and allow the IRS to do a direct deposit, you could get it even sooner than those 21 days. By the way, the deadline to file tax returns is April 15th. Big 7 continues now. Knoxville Fire Department investigating after a late morning house fire in Knox County. First responders arrived at the 3800 block of Garden Drive to smoke with two people inside along with a dog. A 911 call provided by a witness said that a bedroom in the home was on fire and they could see flames. Now the fire was extinguished in just minutes after crews were able to make a quick entry. No smoke detector, by the way, was found inside. Gloria Johnson's political ambitions make our next Big 7 story for you tonight. WATE confirming that State Representative Gloria Johnson will not only be running for Marsha Blackburn's U.S. Senate seat, she will also run for her district seat in the State House of Representatives. In a statement, Johnson said, while my focus is on defeating Marsha and returning her seat to the people, my heart is with serving Tennessee in whatever capacity I am able, end quote. Johnson launched her Senate campaign back in September. Incumbent Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn has held that seat for nearly two decades as the first female senator elected by Tennessee voters. A six on your side concerning future housing expansion is our next big story for you tonight. More housing options will be available in Knoxville. City Council passed an ordinance at its meeting last night that will make changes to the city's zoning code. What's known as missing middle housing can now be implemented in the city with the goal of increasing availability and home ownership. The zoning changes will allow for multiple types of housing units and more of them to be built on single lots. This will allow for more townhomes, duplexes and other compact housing to be built and sold in the city. Parker Bartholomew is a builder in Knoxville and has plans to build townhomes on a lot along Whittle Springs Road. He says before the ordinance passed, he would only be able to build two on the lot, but now he can build seven. So you're going to spread the cost of the land over only two homes, um, and they would come in uh, probably close to 400 to 450 to 500 thousand dollars. And what we're going to be able to do now is we're going to be able to get seven homes, and they're going to be priced under 300 thousand dollars. So what Missing Middle has done is allowed us to build more homes for less um, than what we could beforehand. Bartholomew also explained that the monthly cost for one of these homes would likely be similar to the average rent price in Knoxville. Next here at 7, a big investigation crossing state lines. Two people arrested were picked up in North Carolina, but they're slated to be brought back here to Tennessee as Pigeon Forge police looking into the death of a man described as a vulnerable adult. Both Dustin Suttles and Caitlin Elliott were arrested in McDowell County, North Carolina on warrants out of Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge police say that they were called about a man's death February 1st by McDowell County deputies. That's all Pigeon Forge police will reveal right now, but our ABC affiliate WLOS in Asheville is reporting that the two were the victim's caregivers. And according to a court document cited by WLOS, the victim was seen being hit by Suttles and was left for hours locked in a car. Based on arrest warrants, that happened January 29th with the encounter caught on camera at a Pigeon Forge hotel. The warrants also claimed the victim had been diagnosed with severe intellectual disability and that the two worked for a North Carolina home care company. Our next Big 7 story, more flights in and out of Knoxville. If you are looking for a quick way to get to the city of brotherly love, Frontier Airlines has announced new flights to Philadelphia beginning May 16th. Frontier will fly three times a week to and from Philly. The airline has been providing flights to and from Denver and Orlando since really the summer of 2011. To celebrate, Frontier says ticket prices for Philly will begin at $19. Now, this new flight schedule is McGee Tyson's second major announcement this week. Yesterday, we told you about a new airline serving a route from Knoxville to Connecticut. Some changes are coming to Dollywood for the 2024 season when it opens next month. The park adding the Dolly Parton experience. Future construction for Dollywood is our big story here. This new park feature is expected to open this coming May. It will feature new interactive elements and will explore Dolly's journey from the mountains of East Tennessee to becoming known as the Queen of Country 
around the world. So look for that coming up in March. Time to get you updated on the forecast. Boy, it's, it feels like it's almost Dollywood season, right? <laughs> I mean, it's been so nice outside. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Ken Weathers. Bo, today marks the sixth day in a row that we've hit 60 degrees or better. No complaints, right? We're still at 57, cooling down a little bit. Wartburg, Caraville, Manorville, Tazewell, all sitting at about 51 degrees right now. Cades Cove as well. And it will cool off tonight into the 30s, most areas. But instead of the upper 20s and low 30s like this morning, it's more like mid to upper 30s. Still cool enough, right? We've got some high clouds that are starting to stream in and a light southerly wind will start to pick up overnight tonight. Now tomorrow is, let's say, more clouds than sunshine, but the winds will be up enough that south Southwest 10 to 20, maybe gusting a little higher at times for the higher elevation areas like the Plateau and the Smokies, that those winds are enough, even with cloud cover, to get temperatures up into the low 60s once again. In fact, we'll stay in that upper 50s to low 60s range all the way through the weekend. We talked about next week where temperatures come down a little bit closer to average for this time of year, which is 31 and 51. So yes, we will be a little closer to that towards the end of the week. Before we get to the weekend, though, rain chances will start to return. I'll tell you when that is coming up in a minute, Bo. All right, Ken, sounds good. We'll check back with you. Federal investigators say a Tennessee man who claimed the U.S. is being invaded planned to travel to the southern border with a stockpile of weapons. Federal complaint against Paul Fay says he intended to commit acts of violence against U.S. border agents. Fay was arrested on Monday. He is charged with selling an unregistered firearm suppressor. That charge brings a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. Fay was linked to, by federal investigators to another Tennessee militia member who was planning to go to war with border patrol agents before his arrest in 2022. We have a six on your side scam alert tonight. U.S. Marshals tell us they are seeing more phone scams. Those involved pose as U.S. Marshals or employees and, and threaten imminent arrest, demanding the meet in person to get money or for request of financial information. The scam continues with different tactics being reported across the country. During past scams, criminals would attempt to collect a fine in lieu of arrest. They would tell victims to purchase a prepaid debit card to pay for it. U.S. Marshals are encouraging everyone now to report scams to their local office.